What's up guys, today I'm going to be reviewing Captain Avengers Infinity Stone. I'm going to start off with no spoilers. What I can say is that it has great action, great fun, great visuals, good music, a lot of good music, good characters, really hot and sexy. It's a good movie. 10 out of 10, would buy. So, now that we're all done with that shit, we can get to the real meat of this review, the real big boy stuff. If you haven't seen Infinity War yet, I don't care. This movie stars all of your favorite comic book characters like Thor, Black Widow, Loki, the Human Torch, Star-Lord, Spyro the Dragon, Doctor Strange, Khan, Smog, Sherlock, Sherlock, Watson, Dildo, Everett Ross, Robert Downey Jr. as himself, a lot of other guys, this Punch Guy, uh, Gun Dude, you got everybody in this fucking movie. It's a good movie. A lot of dudes. H3H3, Jax Films, Jenna Marbles. Are far superior to Jax Films dogs. Jenna? I'm gonna fix your garbage dog. I, I don't know how they managed to get those two in the same film together, but here we are. The mean wrinkly grape from Fortnite and the other Avengers movies is back, and he's he's doing stuff. He's kind of a bad guy. He's also kind of the protagonist. A lot of the plot follows him. He goes through a typical hero's journey. He's very purple, uh, which he seems to change colors a lot throughout the film series in, in Age of Ultron. And I think Guardians 1, he was a blueberry. But now he's just a wrinkly grape. He wears a tank top, and he's looking for all the uh, all the rocks, all the Infinity Stones. So Doctor Strange and Robert Downey Jr. have to get all the Revengers together to fight him. And along the way, they run into the chaotic neutral Avengers and form an even bigger group to fight the big angry punching man. But uh, they lose and everyone dies. Uh, there were a few weird scenes like when all the Avengers stopped halfway through the fight to use the bathroom and when the Russo brothers shot all the cast members on camera. Overall, the story was incredibly good and very sexually fulfilling. I came multiple times in the theater seat. Uh, the popcorn in the theater that I was at was pretty subpar, so I think I gotta knock Marvel down a few pegs for that one. I don't think I could forgive that sin. All of that boring story shit aside, the visuals in this were very fantastic. I can tell from the fights with Thanos that they took a lot of anime inspiration. Specifically here, I'm going to play a clip for you from about uh, halfway through the movie during one of their fights, so here you go. Two dicks up for visuals. Uh, finally, the soundtrack. Uh, most of it was perfect. The Avengers theme is still going strong here, just like it did in the first movie. Uh, there, there's one particular fight scene where the music didn't quite match up with the uh, the action on 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 camera here. Uh, here, I'm gonna. I actually have a clip of that too. I'm gonna play that real quick. Uh, finally, the real exciting part, the after credit scene. My god, they're really setting up some future movies here. Um, if you look carefully at this shot right here, uh, if you look carefully in the background, you can actually see uh, a fan favorite hero hiding in the background. Who is that? That's right, it's Shrek, the big green ogre man voiced by Austin Powers. A character fans have been hoping would join the Marvel Cinematic Universe for years, and the Russo brothers are finally going to deliver on that promise, it seems. How they're going to integrate him in 4 is beyond me, but these are the guys who directed Winter Soldier and Civil War and Dirty Grandpa, so if anyone can do it, they can. I got a lot of comments uh, asking me to, to rate uh, all of the butts in the movie, and I have to say, Tom Holland's butt as Spider-Man is still going pretty strong. Uh, Chris Evans, Captain America, fantastic butt. Thanos is but cannot be overstated here. It's probably half the movie. It's half the reason I went to watch the movie, and I'm pretty sure it's half the reason most of us went to watch the movie, is to see uh, that big wrinkly grape's ass. And the Rooster Brothers delivered that one as well. Um, so I think, you know, putting all of these elements together, the soundtrack, the visuals, the asses, uh, I think I would have to give this movie five moldy Tostitos cheese dip cans out of five. Thank you for listening. <laughs>